Shut the hell up. See, nobody believes me when I say, I swear that nigga came out the vent. I swear that nigga came out the vent. He said, oh, there's a Taz. Nah, you came out the vent. I don't care what you say. I've been wanting to record this game since I have my 360, but you know, I don't have a splitter cable, so I can't record on my Xbox. So y'all gonna y'all gonna be bullying me if I record on my Xbox, <laughs> cause I be I be using my phone. I be, like I use like some type of thing to prop up my book bag, and I put a laptop on it, and then open the laptop, and then prop my phone up against the laptop so they can record the screen. But yeah, I was gonna do that with this game, but this game looks too great to do that. So. But yeah, if y'all wanna see more of this, if y'all enjoy this video, this this video is gonna be long. Like, I don't know why Life is Strange is like an hour long for each episode, but it's like, it, it just be like that sometimes. But if y'all wanna see more of this, y'all enjoy this, hit that like button for your boy, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna try and get the money. Okay cop the rest of these episodes and then play Life is Strange too. And I cop Final Fantasy 7? Yes sir. Cause this channel getting dark. Her mouth isn't even moving. What do you mean? I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's a lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So many vibes, man. Can I run? Can I run? No run? Alright. Look at that guy. Big ol' hurricane. That thing fried! So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's time. cool. Look at how I'm sharp okay. her nose is. Oh my. To shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. And frankly, it's bullshit. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. That's kind of weird because majority of the class is female. Isn't that Look crazy? at her nose. Too obvious. Strong ass nose. What if Arbus chose know, to capture just as strong as Ronda Rousey, bro. their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. 
Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self See if my memory's still good. You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> oh, you lucky I got the phone there. I thought so much pain on your head, but... Faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s I only. can't believe I still have the this pencil American case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, Victoria, Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Speaking of ass, <laughs> where is your ass? Is turning in a photo, so <laughs> you see the dilemma? No, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your This work. is ridiculous. I always get so shy. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, no Victoria, Victoria. excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. <laughs> you didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Feel like you have to you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of her. Because Max wants everybody to see how she plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. That's something you never should do. You look like an outcast and like put your leg up against the wall? No, sir. You gotta be cool to do that. Unless you like me, though. Know, give a flying. Don't really care about other what other people say about you. See, look at this ST. I mean, um, look at this very. Um, I want to say large, but that'd be disrespectful. Um, she's got on the big side, you know what I'm saying? But do you think she cares about what people say? No. No. Well, she might, cause she got that goth type hair like you on the rock out with my goth hair on her hair. Is he getting his ass beat? Nigga, you're bigger, bro. You're bigger than the little dude, bro. Be his ass. How you let? How, if you ever get bullied by one of these type of kids, I don't know what to say to you. He, bro, his drip is off, bro. Yeah, both of their drips off, bro. I understand him because he's kind of big, but like, you could take this little nigga. Fucking big. Are those shorts or pants, my nigga? Okay, sure. Those are your, some water on your, That's your granddaddy's shorts. 
Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door no, hello. closes, a window opens. No, hello? Where the hell like did that butterfly come from, okay? Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Bro, a butterfly will never let you even get this close. That's like the closest you could get to a butterfly. Pedophile, get out of here. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. School shooter? So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. So, you telling me that this girl, not gonna talk about the fact that this nigga is in the girl's bathroom. You I know, know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or School who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! How you gonna smoke? How you gonna? So you gonna bring a gun to smoke somebody pack, and then when you smoke Whoa. their pack, what the? Oh, drop the gun! I didn't how, mean to. How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand, and then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light. To shadow. From color. Now to Kate shadow. is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. The human so that means... black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller, can I actually reverse time? Why? I did it. Can you give me I an actually example did of a photographer it. who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. machine. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak out. Diane, Not yet. Very. Diane. Keep it together, Max. Bueller? When I took my selfie, Diane, Jefferson Diane. asked me a question. Go, if he Why does again, this? I'll know this is for real. Images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. 
and capture you in a corona? moment of desperation. Bro, what future tell y'all in the Spider-Man video, bro? Mask on, bro. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured art, I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max, but you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Hi, hey, Victoria. Max. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely bitch. popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. Yes, you can learn more bitch. when you actually finish reading the assigned oh, chapters. Time and break Max neck. is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. So what if... She took a picture as soon as the girl got shot, and did she reverse taunt? Oh wait, would it? That would be dumb, but it, I don't know. Why is this happening? And to me, is an important cultural event. Run. And I want to represent Blackwell Academy. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't what? even think about leaving here until we talk about your interest. Maybe I can leave wherever I want to, nigga. I'm a grown ass woman. I mean, what? I'd never let one of photography. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. And I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, oh, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Now we all know damn well this was to happen in real life. You would not say exactly what you just heard. You would say something along the lines of it, or you'd be trying to think of what they said. Max, you know? you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you.
She got a washer down for her. Ain't no damn spring boy in the middle. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Hey, get off of him. <laughs> okay, don't worry. You remember that it's payday? <laughs> yeah. I know you didn't pay that's cash. what he sound like. I'm not getting bullied by no nigga that sound like that. And built like that, no sir. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down. Tell me what I need a do. hammer to break I'm it so open. Sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this. Shit. For this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! See how, see how her emotions switched up? Another shitty day. Are you telling me that, did that not she was, happen. oh, don't, don't do it, don't do it. And then proceeds to do everything you again. She's that same emotion throughout the, the whole fuck situation. What is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Such a bitch ass. Excuse me. So right. that hot Whatever dog you're up to, your face, face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah, bitch. Back off. Hold on, Max. Come back here. What? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Why are you walking up around her like that? We got Takashi 6 9 I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course, this act. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Don't wander around. Whoa. 
I don't remember this in the, uh, the Xbox demo. It ended as soon as I hit the alarm. Wait a minute. Is this all of episode one? Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. See, this is why females can't be just monument. Their own business is walking the sidewalk. Freaking rapist in a rape van come and kidnap them. Either rape them or freaking kill them for sex trafficking. This world is so... Where does this world even come to? We got coronavirus and freaking rapists. Oh, freaking... I better read oh, Warren's text you. before he blows my phone up. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Where that is? Okay, I bet. I'll get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Dormitories. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, I get to throw pay on that bitch head. Yeah. I need to go to the room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding yeah. with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, sound like her neck claw. What's she talking like about? Sorry. I'm not really trying to, to be judgmental or nothing. Hey, bitches, get off my fucking stairs so I can go to my dorm. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Yeah. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. I'll oh, kick you in your little Hold bitch. that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it no. all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. <laughs> Ooh. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. We all know damn well his last name ain't Da Vinci. What the hell? Are you kidding? Bitch. Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look. Great, I can't it. even chill on the steps. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, Sam, drop that pain on her. I feel Do bitch. you understand English? Get lost. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. <laughs> Keep calm. Common collected. Now how am I gonna get the bucket on her? On this ugly ass bitch. Cause you think she cute with that sharp ass nose she got. And she's stabbing niggas with her face. I feel so bad for this girl. She's gonna jump off the freaking roof. 
But that's like later on. How am I gonna... Can I do this? No. What? Yeah. Put a drop water on your bitch ass. I mean, paint. Okay, let's Pan see if water. this works. Yeah. Finna get her wet. Wet pain is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Awesome. She really got bitches on her. Oh, take a selfie of her. Take a picture. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. No. And no filter needed before I post this. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day, and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. <laughs> so does Nathan. Am I supposed to be worried? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Should I be worried? I could reverse time on these hoes. And Nathan's going to jail, so I'm not worried about it. Hurry, Courtney. I'm gonna play with y'all emotions. <laughs> bitch. Go back in that damn room. Hurry, Courtney. My head. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. So what change is Victoria bringing? Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Hold. Hurry, Courtney! Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Hurry, oh. Courtney. I look so pathetic. She bruh, Victoria's a hip. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye, hey, this depressing music off. To the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Hey, I already got an inspirational video to fight depression. The fuck? It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. 
I hate those. Where you wake up inside your dream and you think you in real life. Can't skip this, bro. Oh. Get her, please. Ooh. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Hmm, while you medicate, huh? Okay, so if I remember correctly, turn this on. Boom. Boom. And I just need to find a disc. Houston, we have the power. But we need to find a disc Ooh, to I play. Never, I never said this box. Please be in here. Yes! I didn't even have to look anything up. I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I wasn't there. No, I was not. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Imagine you had a friend that could, like, time travel. Like, a re reverse time. Would you believe him? I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we get that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. Damn, <laughs> bony white ass. This 
song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. This is so cringy. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Bitch, this ain't even your house. Shut the fuck up. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around so shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially a lot of strangers. Dogs. You're the stranger. So you're bringing here. drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. Why is this? And Max, if I see you Fuck here your again, service. you'll learn fucking all about United Trump. States, you ugly bastard. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. Yeah, a sex toy? I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that oh. thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. She thinks she dead totally smacked Martin. his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Is there awesome anyway, let's seek out the window. Nobody likes there her. is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Man, Wait, what, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. So what will happen if we act like a snake? Now, please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. Chloe. No, nah, step sorry. out. The, step, step out. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, ain't no sorry. Ain't mother. no sorry. Get out the closet. Just Please him up. No, nah, pushing me. Jump him. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time, or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're nah. not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Get the gun from under there and bust the cap of him. Nah, bro. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. 
What if I had stepped up to help? Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? I already got scared. Nah, bro. That was me in the closet and not seeing her get smacked. I would have pieced him up, bro. Bambi. Isn't this awesome, sis? <laughs> Bambi. It totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. Oh, she getting deja vu. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Your white knight Warren. Um, how you gonna be her knight, bro? You got Earth body dry so in front of her. They can always escape. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Or are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So... 
it was Nathan. It, it's either Nathan or Jefferson, or it's the both of them. Because you seen how he pressed her in the bathroom. And Nathan, Nathan has drugs. So if she get raped, I don't know that's a, a sensitive topic, but did she like that? It, like it got to be the same reason why Rachel's missing. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe, I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. You know, what did I'm you mad. do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Specter or a ghost? What is that? Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out. Nothing hit it. What do you mean? Wait, what was that noise? I get it. damn hurricane. How am I supposed to get past?
Number 11? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Reading the future and reversing time. And That's a far power. Straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <gasps> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Well, that was episode one. Y'all know, if y'all want to see more, y'all know what to do. You want to see episode two in the rest? Hit me up. I'm gonna try and give me some money. If you if you wanna see it right now, cash at me, even though I got that cash app. I'm gonna try and get it. I'm gonna try and give me a cash app or something. But no, y'all, I'm probably not even gonna do it. But yeah, love y'all. Thank you for all the support. Even though I'm not big on YouTube yet, haven't hit 100 yet, I'm still at, uh, what, 37 now? Thank you. Started two years ago, had like four subs. And then when I actually started putting in work three months ago, for to now, to now, 30 subs in three months. That don't sound like a lot, but it is. Thank y'all. Cause I already know it was tough on y'all the first couple videos. Cause <laughs> those just cringy. <laughs> I mean, they're still cringy, but not as bad as before. And whatever you do, do not watch the Haunted House series. That is beyond cringe. Like, don't watch it. <laughs> don't watch it. But yeah, I love each and every one of y'all, all 37 of y'all. Um, if any of y'all some YouTubers, or if you just want to play with me and you want to call out, hit me up on Instagram. I will go DM back. I'm not like... The mother big YouTubers that can't get to you, I will get to you. Um, like, like I said again, thank you for 37 subs. And I'm out. Peace. Stay safe. And stay healthy.